Hi, 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 hi. Welcome back. We're making a visual novel in Godot. Last time we got our character portrait. And she can read our script and she can go away. <laughs> Which is how I want all human interaction to work. Never mind. Let's come play in character. I'm over here to character. I am still in Cleo. And I want to give her... Yeah, let's give her a new portrait. I'm going to call it Eyes Closed. And if you remember from last time, all of these settings will stay the same. All you got to do is drag in... Oh, by the way, I snuck in some new assets on you. These will be in... Um, if you look in the description of the video, I've got like a Google Drive and you can get all of these assets. These are from the same pit crew that I linked down in the description and I showed off last time. You can also like use whichever ones you want, but if you want mine, there they are. So I'm going to drag this into where it says image. I'm going to drop it. And that looks about right. So if we come over here to timeline, see where it says Cleo and it's got like a happy face. Let's see this one. I can change your expression. So now when we run it, whoop. Yeah, she can close her eyes. We can open them back up too if we, well. All right, we're going to give Cleo somebody to talk to. Come up here to this area. This is where you make new stuff. Add timeline, add character. We're going to click on add character. We're going to go back to the character folder. I'm going to name her Margie. So that's what the name generator told me to call her. Go ahead and click the plus sign to make a new portrait. I'll call it default. And let's give Margie this face. Why wouldn't she be a cat girl? That's fine. All my best friends are cat girls. I'm going to select default as the default. And again, we're going to give her the same settings as Cleo. Main scale is going to be 50. Y is going to be negative 200. I'm going to give Margie another portrait. I want to call it Angie, but it's not Angie. It's angry. Just in case I need to say that out loud, I pressed plus and I just typed angry. And now I'm going to drag Margie angry in. And it's got all the same little default settings over here. Um, okay, to get Margie in on the action, I'm going to actually delete these. So I'm clicking on them and just pressing delete. Yeah, we're going to leave that. Let's... I'm going to write first and characters later. It's so cool that we get to go to a new school today we're going real anime on this i know i hope we catch the bus in time what's your favorite class oops i like math what do you like there we go i like lunch i'm bad at math and in my head margie really doesn't like math she doesn't look like a math person the cleo like she's all numbers all the time probably so let me go through and assign faces wait a minute yeah that's right very clear margie put it sounds good um margie's gonna stay at default but i think when she's talking about math she's gonna get angry Perfect. Uh, we'll close Cleo's eyes right here, right? So this is probably going to work. I'm going to hit Control S to save. Let's play the timeline. Margie, where do you go? Okay. So Margie has to join the conversation too. The character. I clicked up here just so it'll hopefully put her up here and pick Margie. And you'd think this would work, but watch this.
Geologic's gonna just throw them all in the pile. <laughs> There's two ways to solve this. You can... Okay, so the first line belongs to Margie, right? So let me put, like, Leo down here. So we would have to... We want Margie to show first, right? But then we want Margie to go away. So highlight this, yep. And have Margie leave. Did you see how I did that? I clicked on join and I changed it to leave, right? And I need Cleo to join. Let me drag this up here. So join Margie, leave Margie, join Cleo. And then I'm going to highlight this and click character again. So I need Cleo to leave. And I need Margie to join. And it should, if I've done everything correctly, I'm not going to do the entire script. I'll show you why. Margie, wow, we get to go to a new school. Cleo, yeah, woo, we go into the bus. So it does that. The other way to do this, see if I can control Z my way through this. Oops. We're back at the scenario where Cleo and Margie are up here at the top. See where it says at position? Geologic will let you set the position of the portrait. Um, think of it as one, two, three, four, five. So leftmost is like all the way over here. Left, center, right, rightmost. I'm going to put Leo at the left and I'm going to put Margie on the right. What it should do is pop both of them up. Woo! Wow, it's so cool that we get to go to a new school today. No, I hope we catch the bus in time. What's your favorite class? She closes her eyes. I like math. What do you like? Oh, she got angry because she doesn't like math. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Let's do, let's do another magic trick. I am all the way up at the top. I've even got this highlighted. And you see where it says background? I'm going to put all the way up at the top. It's going to say show background with image. Okay, so I went on itch.io and I got some assets. I'm going to drag this in first. Let me show you where I got the assets. Hang tight. All right, it's from one of these packs. There's like four packs. This is a really nice asset pack called Anime Backgrounds. And it says specifically here, rules for VTubing slash videos, which is me. Give credit to Noraneko Games. So Noraneko Games made that. I'm saying that out loud. Credit must be given. Check. In a description box. Check my description. You can find the link to download these on the streaming platform or in the video itself. Well, if you want it in the video itself, it's noranekogames.itch.io slash background. And I'm definitely not doing the rest of that we're just using these to learn on so if you want these you can scroll down there it is download it and pick out your favorite let me go back to Godot. hold tight i've got street summer day and i want to say that's from the second asset pack but i'm not sure i've drug it in and if i play timeline watch this this is so slick It's just there. Isn't that cool? And I do believe when the timeline's over, yeah, they go away and it fades. One last thing. Back over here in Godot, you know, the Godot that's not deologic up. If I press, let's run scene. Just, there's no scene to find around. Okay, well, she's clearly lying. Let's press play. No main scene has been defined. We don't have a scene. We've just been splashing around in Dialogic this whole time. We forgot to make a game. Here's the quick and dirty way to get this to run. Create root node. I'm going to make a 2D node, even though I actually think you could do this on 3D, but I don't think it matters. I'm just going to name it main. Save. I'm just going to save it right here in the root, main.tscn. And I'm going to throw a... Come on. I'm going to throw a script on here. Script, new script, main.gd. Sounds great. 
in funk ready. You can talk to Dialogic like a variable. Technically, it's not a loaded singleton. That, that's fine if you must be technical, but just know that if you type the word Dialogic and a dot, all of a sudden you can run pretty much everything Dialogic can do in code. Well, I want to run that timeline, so I would like to start it. So I'm going to type start, and remember, probably two tutorials ago, we named it Timeline 1. Save. 2D view. Play. It's going to fuss because we haven't selected a scene. But guess what? We've got a scene. We're going to click Select Current. And now, in code without using Dialogic, our little story plays. So we're not going to do this immediately, but I want you to think, if I can run this in Funk Ready, I can run this with any kind of user input, right? I can use Funk Input Event. If the user presses spacebar, then the timeline runs. I can use um, a button press to start the game, and then the timeline starts to run. I can do a lot of things with that. Anyway, I am going to cut it here. You have an excellent one. Take care of yourself, and I will see you next time. Hey, real quick before you scoot, I am on buymeacoffee.com. It's kind of like Ko-Fi and Patreon together. If you found this video helpful or useful, I would appreciate you coming over here and checking this out. If you are willing or able, you can donate on this page.